Hello, hello, my friends. Hello, my good friends. I hope you are hello. well. My name is Tembile, and I am going to be your host today. Yes. And welcome to Istimela Senda. Bah. And today, like any other day, I am going to sing with you that song which Aus Chulu taught us before. That song is Bantuana Abanani, Bantuana Be Africa. Right? Are we ready? I am also going to post the lyrics. And if you know the same song, can you also post it for me in your own language? I am going to do it in Isi Zulu or Isi Ndebe. And you guys are going to also post it in your own different languages. And someone also taught me the Shona version of the same song. Are we ready, my friends? All right, it goes, Bandana banane, bandana de Africa, Hosanni bone, Hosanni bone, Nancy Trenny is a Nancy Trenny is a is a is in Daba is in Daba is in Nan, Bandana Abanan, Bandana de Africa, Hosanni bone, Hosanni bone, Nancy Trenny is a Nancy Trenny is a is a is in Daba. Is in Daba, is in Nandi, Vanava Diki, Vanavi Africa, who ya muone, who ya muone, in the training of ya, in the training of she can gano the Kawada, gano no Nakiza, Vanava Diki, Vanavi Africa, who ya muone, who ya muone. In the training of Sika, in the training of Yaninga no Zakawanda no Zino Nakiza. I hope you guys were singing along with me, and hopefully, you are also going to get the lyrics to this song. Welcome, welcome once again to Istimela Sendaba. Like I, I usually do, I greet you in different, um, in different languages. Sanibonani Dumelang Abushen Nda Molueni Tobel Murikwanj Eta Kaziwai Habari and in the French is Bonjour. Yes, I think I also learned a bit of some uh, French in my time. My name is Temile <laughs> and welcome to Isti Milasenda by the Story Train. Today we are definitely on day number five and thank you so much to the people who were uh, giving us their stories in the past four days. We had Tobegile, Ausibusisiwe, Ausbayelet and yesterday we had Uchon from Kenya. And you know what my friends, this is what I can only say is thank you so much to Asitech South Africa and uh, Play Africa for giving us this opportunity to be here at the National Arts Festival and bringing this storytelling session in the comfort of our home. So my friends, before I even continue, before I tell you where the train is going to stop today, I would like you to look at your screen and if you see a microphone, right, please turn that off and make sure it's red so that we can't hear your voices, so that we cannot disturb the person who is telling us the story. And also, if you want to engage, you can see there is a comment section. It's written a chat, right? You can chat with us. You can tell us how you are feeling. You can tell us where you are from, your name, or your superhero name, who you are watching this story with. Yes, my friends, we will definitely look at those and see where our friends are watching us from. Because remember, it's not only you who is watching us today. It's a lot of people who are watching us, others from Nigeria, others from DRC, others from the United Kingdom, others from Australia. Yes, my friends, it's worldwide. And my friends, we hope that you are going to enjoy this story. You know what? Today, the train is going to go 
Choo-choo! And it has just arrived, my friends. Our conductor for today is Veronique Mensa, all the way from Namibia with her story, Human Bones. Veronique, please take us away, driver. Danas, Danas, Tingoti, Wenti, Kamana, Wati, Tingwati, Wati, Tingwati, Danas, Tingoti, Wenti, Kamana, Wati, Tingwati, Wati, Tingwati. Hello, guys! Hi, friends! Good afternoon! So excited to have all of you from the story train stop for a special story here in Namibia today. My name is Hamaros, which means morning star. And today I'm going to tell you a story that took place 100 years ago in a small village in Namibia called Tess. There was born a beautiful baby girl named Liana. Liana grew up and became the mother of three little boys and one little girl. Now, during those times, people used to collect dried up animal bones and sell them for extra income, similar to what we do today when we recycle products like plastic and tin and glass. Oh well, now Liana was a sheep herder and a domestic worker. One day while she was herding her sheep on the beautiful mountains of Okombai, as the sun was setting in the distance, there she made a discovery, a pile of bones, and she was so excited. She ran home, grabbed a bag, and came back to the spot where she found the bones. She filled the bag with bones and went into the village to go sell these bones. As she was walking, she saw the German shop owner about to close his shop. Frantically, she shouts, Bus! Bus! Bones! Oh, well, come on in, just be quick. She rushes into the shop, into the back, where they usually would do the transactions and hands him the bag of bones. He takes it from her and throws it on top of a huge pile of bags with bones in them. He hands her four shillings and off she goes into the front section of the shop where she buys herself cornmeal for two shillings, tea for another one shilling and sugar with another one shilling. She went home, prepared her family a warm pot of pop for dinner, accompanied by a nice cup of sweet tea. Mm. Soon after dinner, the family went to bed and Liana began to dream. In her dream, she heard a voice say, Danas Timoti, my sick man up, what is in waiting? What is in waiting? She liked it and decided to sing with it. Danas Timoti, my sick man up, what is in she liked it so much and she decided to dance with it. And it was quiet. Then the voice asked, Liana, is this the time that you sell the bones of another man? And she woke up. As she woke up, she remembered a story her father used to tell her about a normal battle that took place 
on the heels of Mkumbaye, close to the spot where she just made this discovery. Oh no, those must have not been animal bones, but human bones. The sun rose, the children went off to school. They were the reason she was in Okumbai, because as the children grew older, she had to move for them to attend school. Oh no, I did not mean to come and disturb the peace here. She borrows four shillings from her friend and she rushes off to the shopkeeper's place. But as she's running, the song keeps on repeating in her head. Guys, I want you to sing along with me. Now in the chat section, you will see the lyrics of the song because basically it's head, shoulders, chest, waist, knees and toes just in the Nama language. So you can translate it into your language that you speak at home and sing along with us. She arrived at the shop and only found the shop assistant. Not knowing when the shop owner arrives, she asks for a pen and paper, please. As she's writing her note, the shop owner arrives. Boss, boss, is this the time that you buy the bones of another man? Oh no, Liela, what are you talking about? Well, I need the bones that I sold to you here yesterday back. The people from Okumbai's song won't leave my head. Oh, Liela, what song is this that you are speaking about? Guys, I need you to sing with me and Liana the song of the people from Okumbai to the German shop owner. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, we don't give bones back. And he shut the door in her face. Sad about what just happened. And still, in a desperate attempt to get the bones back, she goes around the building. There, she sees a huge window. And through the window, she can see the huge pile with the little bags with bones in them. And as clear as daylight, on top of that pile, she can see the bag of bones that she sold here just yesterday. She looks around gets a chair, puts it under the window, gets on top of the chair, opens up the window. She can hear the shop owner mumbling the song that she sang to him a few minutes ago. She gets an idea. She can only reach in, grab the bag of bones and leave the note with the four shillings Everything will be all right. She reaches in, grabs the bones, puts the four shillings, closes the window, jumps off the chair, and runs into the mountains of Okombai, all while singing. <laughs> Mwadi ting lady, 
She came to the spot where she made the discovery of bones, emptied the bag, closed it up with sand, and said, as she walked home still while singing and this time getting a little bit more happy because she returned all his bones Later during that day, the shop owner went into the room where he keeps his bones only to see a little white paper on top of his pile of bones. He reached for it and opened up the note. Four shillings fell to the ground and the note read, this is not the time to sell or buy the bones of another man, Liana. And he remembered her song. So how about you guys sing with me? Yes, thank you so much, Berink. That was so nice. Wasn't it, my friends? It was so soothing and also so captivating. And I've realized that the same song was being sung by uh, the Kalapash kids. Do you remember it? Those who were there, I still remember something like Ndate Mungholo Oya Kaikachen. It was something like that, my friend. Did you hear that? Oh, my friends. You know what? Here in Africa, so many songs are, sang, are being sang in different languages. And uh, I've seen that Upilisa also was saying, I also wanted so much to learn the Nama language. Yes, my friend, you can start by singing this song as well. Thank you so much, Veronique. Thank you so much for uh, driving this train all the way to Namibia. And let me check who has been engaging. I have seen that uh, Katonke Siribe, uh, you are watching from Tabasion. You said, I love your story so much. We love you so much and hopefully you also enjoyed so much. So the train was in Namibia today and um, who also was watching? I saw so many people and there was someone also from Facebook. Yes, Katon, you are, yes, you were commenting on our Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us. Viv and Nancy uh, were watching us or are actually watching us from Fishhook all the way in Cape Town, Kapalotum. Thank you so much for joining us today, Viv and Nancy. Um, let me see who else. Liz says, well done, Morning Star. We are watching from Vinduk in Namibia. Thank you so much for also joining us. You can see, my friends, when I said people are watching from everywhere in the world. And Anya says, hello, we are South African and we are watching and listening from Germany. 
Ah, Germany, so far. It's so far away from here in South Africa. But you, you managed to uh, watch us from that side of the world. You, my friends, you know what? Let's just continue and see who else was watching with us. Valerie was watching with us from Cameroon. Thank you so much, Valerie, for watching from uh, Cameroon. And I hear John also was trying to give us uh, the different um, Swahili language of saying head, shoulder, chest, knees, and toes. I cannot really um, pronounce that. But thank you so much. You can look in the chat section and see what John has written. Thank you so much. My lady says, I also um, the guitar playing along with your song. Yes, did you hear that, my friend? Maybe you also didn't hear my shakers also playing, right? Yes, I surely had some fun. I had some fun to my friends. Veronique, we are so proud of you. Momenti, I think it's a Nama saying, my friend. Momenti, uh, that was Devonique. I think she was also watching from Namibia. Thank you so much, my friends. Happy, happy, Mariana. Happy, happy, enjoyed every moment. And you were watching from PE. Thank you so much. It sounds like a French song for children as well. Thanks. Francois from France, he says, I am here watching you from um, England. Bruce also said he's watching from England. Thank you so much, Bruce. Welcome, Sniper, the power of story and language, Veronique. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, John, for saying that to us. And my friends, you know what? The stories still continue. We are only on day number five. Tomorrow, it will be day number six. And can I tell you something? Tomorrow, it will be myself, Abodi Nice Nice. Yes. Tomorrow you will call me Apoti Nice Nice. Most of you know me as uh, Apoti Sniper, uh, Abanye, they know me as Utembile, but uh, for tomorrow's story, I'm telling you I will be Apoti Nice Nice. Yes, because I am going to give you a nice and captivating story. So please do hop in tomorrow. And remember, if you cannot watch from the Zoom, go to the Asitech South Africa Facebook page this uh, performance will be live there as well. And please tell so many kids that please come and join us. Apoti Nice Nice and many other people will be telling different stories from different parts of Africa. So my friends, thank you so much for joining us today. And before we close, let us once again go to my song that I sang. You still remember it? Do you still remember it, my friends? Oh, okay. You still remember? Bantwana banane, Bantwana be Africa. Are you ready? All right. Can I see all of you standing up and also being ready to dance along and sing along with me? Let us stand up, my friends, and shout as hard as you can and just enjoy and sing with me. Bantwana abanan, Bantwana de Africa, Hosanni Bone, Hosanni Bone, Nazi Treniesa, Nazi Treniesa, Isan, Zindaba, Zindaba, Ezimnani, Bantwana Banan, Bantwana de Africa, Hosanni Bone, Hosanni Bone, Nazi Treniesa.
Thank you so much, my friends. And hopefully we will see you once again tomorrow. And thank you for those who have also been watching us from day number one. Thank you so much, my friends, and see you tomorrow.